Okay, hi, welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial on doing M10 bolts with threads. Uh, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to create our helix. Um, so in our draw drop down menu, we're going to select helix. Um, it's asking us um, straight away for the base point. Uh, thing it makes things a little bit easier if we use the origin. So if you type in zero comma zero and then press enter. Um, that gives us the base point at the origin. Our base radius is going to be half the size of our bolt, so it's at 5 mil, so 5 and enter. Our top radius is going to be uh, again half the size of the bolt, so 5 and enter. We now need to specify our pitch, so if you uh, click our the turn height down the bottom here um, and our turn height is equal to our pitch so for this instance it's going to be 1.25 uh, um, and then hit, hit enter um, and our height if you just scroll around we'll have our helix now um, our height is going to be to the height we want the bolt itself so or the thread on the bolt itself so I'm going to go with 30 mil Um, from here we need to uh, put our pitch drawing onto the end of the helix. So if you rotate around so that you can actually see the end of the helix itself and select our Z axis vector. This is going to move our UCS to the end point. So click the Z axis vector, click the end of the helix and making sure you've got ortho mode turned on, you want to run it parallel to the green line. Um, and you can see that then our Z axis moves to be parallel with the green line. Uh, if you click the left mouse button, that will change our UCS. And then if you scroll around to the bottom, you'll find that actually we now get our side view as our bottom view. This will help us draw the uh, thread pattern. So we're going to have to start now wanting we to draw the uh, thread pattern down the bottom here. Now to do this, we're going to need to have to understand about a bit more about the dimensions of a thread pattern. Um, so you're going to want to Google um, screw thread basics, look for a drawing like this. Um, it's got some maths in here, so we need to understand a little bit more about what we're after. So we need to know the distance from this point here to this point here, which is equal to the pitch minus the little flat section here um, and the little flat section that that distance is uh, pitch divided by eight so the equation is pitch minus pitch divided by eight now when you do that you will get a uh, length of 1.094 so we're going to draw a line from the end here going vertically downwards, a distance of 1.094. Hit enter, and you should have a line drawn now. So if you hit escape, because we're going to have to offset this now. Um, and the offset distance is the offset distance is from the top here to the bottom. Now, uh, you can see that that distance there is 5 eighths h. Uh, we don't know what h is, but if you look over here, 5 eighths h is equal to that times the pitch, and we know what our pitch is. Um, so when you run the maths on that one, uh, you get 0 0.678. So if we now offset uh, through a 0 0.678 distance, uh, selecting that object and offsetting it to the left hand side. Uh, 
Um, so what we're going to do now, now we've done that offset, we're going to draw the shape of the actual uh, thread. Um, and we need to refer back to our drawing here. Um, so our shape is going to be give us this 60 degree angle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to draw a line from the top coming down at 30 degrees and a line from the bottom coming up 30 degrees and basically then trim it all out. So we're going to select our line. We're going to turn our ortho mode off. Select our point here, our end point. Um, now we're just going to hit the tab button and uh, for the top one it's minus 30 degrees. Enter. Click escape. We'll then select the line again. Select the end point down the bottom here. Coming up to the top again pressing the tab to move over to the angle and then th positive 30 degrees. Let's just try that one again, didn't draw, so do that. bring it up, tab across and type in 30 degrees. There we go, it's worked that time. Uh, we're now going to trim it all out, so using the trim function which is up here we're going to select the object we want to trim with a left click and then press right click and then we can trim all of our elements out. Once we've trimmed everything we're going to want to join everything because we're going to have to do a um, an extrusion of it later so if we type in join and then hit enter and then select all of these elements Okay, once you've got them all, hit enter. Let's just check they're all joined. Yeah, that's great. Um, so we can now move on to the next stage. And the next stage is actually uh, extruding a circle uh, into a solid object. So first off, let's swap back to the WCS over here. Uh, we'll zoom out and we'll give ourselves a bit of a rotation angle. Um, we're going to select the circle function. And again, because we've used the origin originally, we can go 0, 0, again and hit enter. And of course, the uh, radius is going to be the same as the bolt, so 5 mil again. Okay, now what we can do uh, is extrude that circle. Um, and we want to extrude it so a little bit more than the actual thread length. So we're going to go extrude it to 33 millimeters. Uh, once you've done that, hit enter. Okay, so we're going to um, put the head on the bolt. So first off, we're going to draw a circle on the top of our bolt here using the center of the bolt um, and we're going to use the diameter this time not the radius um, and the diameter we want is 17 mil uh, we're also going to draw a hexagon on the inside so we're going to click the polygon function uh, we're going to use obviously we need to change the number of sides to six and we're going to use the center point again we were going to use a, an inscribed in the circle option, um, I'll need to put on my object snap as nearest so that it then clicks onto the circle perimeter there. Um, once you've got that, we now need to extrude both of those. Um, and we want to extrude it 6mm. Next process is we want to put a 1mm radius around the top, so if we click the radius button um, and we click this circle here and type in 1 and then we've already selected the edge so just hit enter again. We've now got our uh, nice radius around there and now we want to do a solid intersect. Uh, selecting that object and that object hit enter and then you can see it's 
subtracted one from the other. Now the next process we're going to do is we're going to uh, sweep this shape around the helix. So um, if you click on the extrude drop down and select the sweep, uh, you're going to select this object to sweep, um, press enter. Uh, we're going to select the base point, which is the bottom of our helix there. And then we're going to select our sweep path. Um, and then you might have to wait a couple of seconds because it's quite a complex computation. Um, and it takes a few seconds to do. It depends on uh, your processor and your graphics card of your computer. Um, and now we're going to use the solid subtract function. Um, and remember you want to first off select the object you want to keep with a left click then uh, press a right click on the mouse and then you want to select the object you want to delete with a left click and then press a right click again and uh, we should have our bolt with thread pattern on there well, hopefully that's been helpful to you um, any other tutorials you want me to do for you uh, just email me and I'll uh, see if I can put one together.